The Great Plains stretch across North America like a massive inland ocean of grass, covering parts of 10 US states and reaching into Canada. It's a place shaped by wind, fire, and the weight of millions of hooves over millennia. But beneath the flat horizon lies a complex web of life, and some species stand out not just for their presence, but for how they define this land. Here are 10 of the most iconic, resilient, or ecologically significant species from the Great Plains. The American bison is the heavyweight of the plains, a symbol of wild freedom and ecological power. Once numbering in the tens of millions, bison shaped the prairie itself. Their hooves tilled the soil, their grazing patterns maintained grassland health, and their migrations were massive, almost seismic events in the ecosystem. Even their wallows, depressions they made by rolling in the dirt, created microhabitats for insects and plants. Hunted nearly to extinction in the 19th century, their recovery has been a slow but powerful story of ecological resilience and cultural restoration. Closely tied to the bison is the black-tailed prairie dog. They aren't just burrowing rodents, they're ecosystem engineers. Their colonies, known as towns, stretch for miles and aerate the soil, cycle nutrients and provide homes for dozens of other species. Predators like the black-footed ferret depend on them almost exclusively for food. Prairie dogs also change plant composition by clipping grasses, encouraging more diverse plant communities. Their survival is a linchpin for the plains, and their decline has had ripple effects far beyond their tunnels. Enter the black-footed ferret, one of North America's most endangered mammals. Thought to be extinct in the 1970s, it was rediscovered in Wyoming in 1981, and every ferret alive today descends from just a few individuals. The ferret's survival is directly tied to the presence of prairie dog colonies, since they rely on them for food and shelter. They're elusive, nocturnal hunters, and their fragile comeback is a testament to the interconnectedness of prairie life and the importance of single-species conservation efforts in maintaining ecological balance. While large mammals often steal the spotlight, the greater prairie chicken plays an essential role in the Great Plains story. This ground-nesting bird is best known for its strange and dramatic mating dance, where males inflate orange air sacs on their necks and stomp their feet in a bizarre booming display. But beyond the spectacle, prairie chickens are sensitive indicators of grassland health. They need large, unbroken expanses of native prairie to thrive. As habitat fragmentation continues, their numbers have plummeted, making them a bellwether for the fate of the entire ecosystem. Another grassland bird, the burrowing owl, lives up to its name by nesting in abandoned prairie dog burrows. Small and long-legged, these owls are diurnal, hunting during the day and often seen perched near their burrow entrances like sentinels. They feed on insects, rodents and reptiles, playing a key role in controlling pest populations. But as prairie dog numbers fall and open spaces vanish, burrowing owls are increasingly forced to adapt to marginal lands or artificial nesting sites. Their survival is closely intertwined with the broader story of prairie dog decline. In the world of insects, the monarch butterfly deserves its place among the Great Plains elite. Every fall, monarchs born on the plains embark on a mind-bending migration thousands of miles south to overwintering grounds in Mexico. The plains are a crucial breeding and feeding stop for them, especially areas rich in milkweed, the only plant their caterpillars eat. Pesticide use, habitat loss, and climate change have severely reduced milkweed across the plains, threatening the monarch's future. Their epic journey and delicate biology make them one of the most visible examples of how global changes are rewriting local ecosystems. Grasslands are defined by the plants that grow there, and none is more emblematic than Big Blue Stem. Known as the king of the prairie, this tall grass species can reach eight feet in height and forms the backbone of healthy tall grass prairies. 
Its deep roots, sometimes 10 feet or more, anchor the soil, resist drought and store carbon. Big blue stem fuels fires that rejuvenate the prairie and provides forage for bison and other grazers. It's a living symbol of the prairie's power to endure and regenerate. Coyotes are the ultimate survivors of the plains, thriving despite, or perhaps because of, human encroachment. Once limited to the western parts of North America, coyotes have expanded their range dramatically, in part due to the extermination of wolves. They're adaptable, intelligent and opportunistic, feeding on everything from rabbits and rodents to fruit and garbage. On the plains, they help control populations of small mammals and serve as a check on the balance between predator and prey. Their howl is both a song of wildness and a reminder of nature's adaptability. The pronghorn antelope is built for speed, not confrontation. It's the fastest land animal in North America, capable of sprinting over 55 miles per hour for extended distances. Unlike true antelope, which are native to Africa and Eurasia, pronghorn are unique to North America, with evolutionary roots going back millions of years. Their speed evolved to outrun now extinct predators like the American cheetah, but it still serves them well across the wide open grasslands. Pronghorn migrate long distances in search of food and water, making uninterrupted habitats essential to their survival. Rounding out this list is the western meadowlark, a songbird with a voice that defines the plains. Its flute-like call is synonymous with spring and open country. Yellow-breasted and sharp-billed, the meadowlark nests on the ground and feeds on insects and seeds. Like many grassland birds, it has suffered steep population declines due to habitat loss and agricultural development. Yet where the land is left open and wild, the meadowlark still thrives, its song a soundtrack to the Great Plains open skies. Together, these ten species tell a story of interdependence, survival and transformation. The Great Plains might seem empty at first glance, but every one of these animals and plants fills a specific role in a finely tuned system. Their struggles and successes reflect what's happening across the landscape, what's being lost, what's hanging on, and what might still be saved.